Hello and welcome to Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. Hello. Looks like your buddy's back there uh, for some sweet feed. You know what? A lot of people have been asking us how the grafting process went. Well, it wasn't without its challenges, right? but it went fairly smoothly. She's mm -hmm. a sweet cow and he went through some scours. Now, because this is an educational show, we can get kind of gross, which is when they're, they got kind of diarrhea and it's yellow colored, yeah. if you really want to get frank about it. But you know what? Once we gave him a little bit of medicine, we talked to our friend Beth on the phone, we gave him a little bit of medicine. Uh, she didn't want there for a while, she kind of cast him aside, but Worried. once, like you said, that milk got flowing through, right. everything was good. Once the scours cleared up, now you can tell they've really grown since last time you've seen them. Now he's starting to pick up a little bit of interest in the sweet feed. And, before long, when they're ready, I'm gonna really start popping that sweet feed to them. Now we've got an Angus slash Brown Swiss and then a Jersey, wherever he is. Now you can see he's got a lankier frame. He's skinnier, They, you know, the bones, right. you can see the bones when they're calves, but he's really growing good. She's letting him feed, everything so good so far. She's even cleaning him up. Like she's she cleaning him up, like they're, she, they're, you, she, she thinks that's her kid now. Yeah. So everything's going really well. Now we have a great recipe for you now, one of my absolute favorites. Sometimes you gotta have some good Mexican food. Yeah, you do. And tonight, in a Dutch oven. Always. Cowboy cooking <laughs> style. I can't hardly wait. Because Starving. you like enchiladas, right? Right. Well, we're gonna do that over an open fire. Man, when you get that smoky flavor in there, you just can't beat it. And you know, we haven't done anything Mexican for a good while. Do you remember our friend Naibi? I do. Who is back in Mexico now. Dear, wonderful, sweet person, she shared us one of her favorite recipes and we really thought, how in the world are we gonna eat a cow head? <laughs> well, she came in and she brought a cow head with her. Yes, she did. And it was some of the best eating. Now, this is traditional stuff. Here's a little clip. That's real mm -hmm. Mexican food. Naibi has the touch. She can really cook. Yes, she can. And Maybelle's very happy. She's had her sweet feed. She's almost eaten all that. We have worked very hard today. It's time for us to eat. So That's right. up to the cabin. Okay. All right.